Hey guys, Instructor Lonnie here with uh, Diana Volante. And Diana, I want to ask you a question. Um, everywhere you go, there's stuff about low calorie this, no carb that, skinny this, skinny that. Um, what is your take on on those options versus whatever you know, always uh, kind of be available to? Sure. Great question. I see this all the time and I have a lot of people ask me about this when they're dieting or trying to lose weight. Um, and I think the idea behind it is a good idea to cut out additional carbs, to cut out um, fats that you don't need or bad fats versus there are good fats go there some other time, um, you know, and to clean up the diet. But I think where people get lost is that there's all these skinny options and there's um, reduced fat or fat free. And actually they might be worse for you than just eating the real thing or finding a healthier option. What I mean by that, um, I was at the mall the other day and passed by the pizza place and they had something called the skinny slice. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Let's see what it is. Well, it was just thin crust and sauce, blah, 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 whatever, some veggies on it. But it was still 280 calories a slice, still had plenty of carbs in it. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't eat just one slice of pizza. Just like if I open a bag of chips, I'm not just going to eat one, too. Gone for me. So, yeah, done. So I'm not really saving myself by eating one or two slices of skinny pizza because it's still 500 calories and a ton of carbs. So same thing with reduced fat and stuff like that. Lots of times reduced fat or fat free might mean that they've supplemented in a chemical that's really not good for your body and you definitely don't want that building up in your system. Some of my advice to you would be look for the stuff that's natural. Um, there's all sorts of um, alternatives, especially when it comes to sugar. There's um, raw coconut sugar cane. There's stevia, which is no calorie and 100% natural. That would be a good option. Or make things yourself. You know, you can muddle your own juices. You can um, make your own, you know, drink mixes. There's all these skinny drink mixes um, to add to your water bottle and the little dropper things to squirt into your water bottle. Well, you know what? Muddle some fresh fruit, put it in a pitcher, put it in your water bottle, drink that all day long. I think sometimes it's thinking outside of the box just because it says it's skinny does not necessarily mean that it's A, nutritional for you, or B, that it's going to get you anywhere near skinny. Yeah, I, I got one more question for you. A while ago in one of your uh, blog posts that was in the uh, in the newsletter, you talked about if people are going to drink alcohol, what would be, I mean, every time you go out, people are trying to find the lowest calorie, lowest carb drink. What would you suggest for people that are looking for that option? Sure. That, that's a great question. I get asked that a lot. And um, there's nothing the matter with responsibly consuming alcohol. But again, um, there's even the brand Skinny Girl, which um, sure, it tastes great. Um, but at the same time, you're probably going to have multiple glasses of that um, and still consume as many calories as you would if you had a couple regular um, beers. If you were to maybe try like a vodka on the rocks or um, a tequila with a little bit of lime in it, um, there's normally only about 65 calories per fluid ounce, give or take, um, of uh, alcohol without a mixer in it. So you could probably enjoy it a lot better um, by having something on the rocks versus having something with a ton of mix in it where you're going to end up consuming a lot more to just enjoy yourself and relax a little bit. Sounds good. Thanks for the input. Thanks.